In evolution, we expect that natural selection should always favor traits that enhance survival and reproduction. Yet, paradoxically, we see traits that appear disadvantageous persist over generations. How can this be? Shouldn't evolution eliminate traits that reduce fitness? The answer lies in evolutionary game theory, a powerful framework that explains how traits can persist even when they seem to be at a disadvantage. Take altruism in animal populations. Why do some animals put themselves at risk to help others? Worker ants, for example, never reproduce, yet they dedicate their entire lives to supporting the colony. From a survival perspective, this seems like an evolutionary dead end. However, evolutionary game theory suggests that these behaviors increase the overall fitness of the group, ensuring that genes related to cooperation and kin selection remain in the gene pool. Another example is the persistence of aggression in certain species. In many animal groups, aggressive individuals might waste energy fighting instead of gathering resources, which seems like a disadvantage. But if aggression helps an individual dominate rivals and secure mates, then it can still be favored, even if the overall group would be better off without it. This leads to a stable evolutionary balance where neither extreme aggression nor extreme passivity takes over. Consider peacock tails bright, showy, and making the males an easy target for predators. Why hasn't evolution eliminated them? Because sexual selection plays a role. Peahens prefer males with the largest, most elaborate tails, meaning that even though the trait reduces survival, it greatly increases reproductive success. This kind of trade-off, where a trait has both costs and benefits, helps explain why seemingly disadvantageous features persist. Game theory models like the hawk-dove game show that multiple strategies can coexist in populations. If everyone were aggressive, hawks, too many fights would occur, reducing fitness. If everyone were passive, aggressive, mutants could take advantage. Instead, a mixed strategy emerges. Some individuals adopt aggression while others remain peaceful, depending on environmental conditions and population density. This paradox even extends to human behavior and society. Traits like risk-taking, cooperation, or even susceptibility to mental health conditions can persist because they offer hidden advantages in some situations. Mild anxiety, for example, can enhance alertness and survival, while risk-taking behavior might be disadvantageous in everyday life but beneficial in situations requiring leadership or innovation. The evolutionary stability paradox reminds us that fitness is context-dependent, and what looks like a disadvantage at first glance may have deeper strategic advantages. Could some of our own behaviors, our fears, ambitions, or social tendencies be the result of hidden evolutionary trade-offs? Understanding this paradox helps us better appreciate the complexity of natural selection, where survival is not just about being the strongest, but about adapting to the ever-changing game of life. In evolutionary game theory, a trait is considered evolutionarily stable if, once it becomes common in a population, no alternative trait can successfully invade. However, some seemingly disadvantaged traits persist despite natural selection, suggesting hidden advantages or equilibrium dynamics. This paradox highlights how competitive interactions and frequency-dependent selection can maintain diverse traits over time. The persistence of cooperative behavior in selfish environments, such as altruism among vampire bats, where individuals share food despite short-term costs, exemplifies this phenomenon. Like a marketplace where diverse strategies coexist, evolution maintains a balance of traits through shifting competitive advantages. Traits that appear to be evolutionary handicaps, such as bright peacock feathers or large deer antlers, paradoxically enhance reproductive success. According to Zahavi's handicap principle, these traits serve as honest signals of genetic fitness because only the strongest individuals can afford to maintain them. This ensures that sexual selection favors costly, but reliable indicators of fitness. Male peacocks with elaborate tails attract more mates despite increased predation risk, demonstrating that the trait signals superior genetic quality. 
like luxury cars signaling financial success. Costly biological traits serve as status markers that attract partners despite practical disadvantages. Altruistic behaviors, where individuals sacrifice personal benefits to help others. Challenge traditional survival of the fittest models. Kin selection and reciprocal altruism explain how these traits persist as they enhance the survival of genetic relatives or foster long-term cooperative relationships. This suggests that short-term disadvantages can be outweighed by long-term evolutionary payoffs. Meerkats take turns acting as sentinels, warning their group of predators despite exposing themselves to greater danger. Like firefighters risking their lives to protect a community, Altruistic behaviors benefit the larger group and indirectly ensure personal genetic survival. If evolution favors optimal traits, why do populations retain genetic variation instead of converging on a single best trait? Negative frequency uh, <laughs> selection allows rare traits to gain advantages, preventing any single trait from dominating entirely. This dynamic ensures adaptability in changing environments and protects populations from uniform vulnerabilities. Left-handedness persists in human populations despite being a minority trait, likely because of advantages in combat and sports. Like a stock market that benefits from diverse investment strategies, evolution maintains a variety of traits to hedge against uncertainty. Some traits persist because of evolutionary trade-offs, where an advantage in one area comes at a cost in another. Constraints from genetic history and developmental limitations also prevent organisms from evolving perfect solutions. This paradox explains why suboptimal traits can still be favored by natural selection. Sickle cell anemia remains prevalent in malaria-prone regions because carrying one copy of the gene provides resistance to malaria despite its harmful effects in homozygous individuals. Like a multi-purpose tool that is not perfect for any single task, but useful overall, some traits persist because they balance competing evolutionary pressures. While natural selection acts at the individual level, some traits persist because they benefit groups rather than individuals. Group selection theories propose that populations with cooperative individuals outcompete selfish populations, maintaining seemingly disadvantageous behaviors in the long run. This paradox challenges traditional individual centered views of evolution. Ant colonies operate as superorganisms where sterile workers dedicate their lives to supporting the reproductive queen, ensuring the survival of the colony like a successful company where employees sacrifice personal gains for team success, evolutionary stability can arise from group advantages. Harmful or seemingly disadvantageous traits may persist due to a balance between new mutations and selective removal. While natural selection eliminates deleterious mutations, new mutations constantly arise, keeping some traits in circulation, even if they reduce individual fitness. This explains why some genetic disorders or maladaptive traits remain present in populations. Colorblindness persists in human populations despite reducing an individual's ability to perceive colors accurately. Like a manufacturing defect that occasionally appears despite quality control, evolution cannot eliminate all unfavorable traits due to ongoing mutations. What appears disadvantageous in one context may be beneficial in another due to ongoing evolutionary arms races. Predators and prey, parasites and hosts, or competitors within species continuously evolve in response to each other, shifting the selective landscape. This prevents static optimal traits and instead favors constant adaptation. Bacterial antibiotic resistance persists despite reducing bacterial growth rate in the absence of antibiotics because environments frequently expose bacteria to antibiotics. Like an escalating cybersecurity battle between hackers and defenders, evolution maintains a dynamic balance where traits remain useful only in response to changing pressures. Modern research is exploring how gene editing and synthetic biology could alter or override evolutionary stability mechanisms. 
By modifying genetic pathways, scientists may bypass traditional constraints and selectively remove harmful traits. However, disrupting evolutionarily stable strategies could have unforeseen consequences for ecosystems and species survival. Gene drive technologies are being developed to eliminate malaria-carrying mosquitoes, but concerns remain about long-term ecological impacts, like redesigning an ecosystem by removing a key species, altering evolutionary stability could create ripple effects that are difficult to predict.